Well, teaching and coaching are the very heart of PGA of America, and our 2018 PGA of America Teacher of the Year, James Sickman, has always been devoted to the game and has forged his own unique journey. Over the years, James has researched and shaped his own fundamentals and techniques, which have been adopted by a leaderboard of more than 80 tour professionals worldwide and countless amateurs. Let's head to the nation's heartland and discover why you'll want to book a schedule a session in Omaha, Nebraska, and learn from one of golf's truly passionate and inspired teachers. It's been a lifelong journey towards growth and excellence. His knowledge is incredible, and his passion, you know, you can't say enough for his passion to teach. Mr. Siegman is truly transcending the, the teaching coaching space. He's delivered a tech, technique and a specialization in the short game that can improve any player. James Siegman has been called the master of the modern short game, but coaching golf wasn't his original plan. The idea was to follow his brother Tom and compete on the PGA Tour. But five years of struggling on faraway tours in Asia and South America led him to his real passion. I, I think I found my calling. I'm a much better coach than I ever was a player, and I think it was a blessing for me that I wasn't that good. But uh, I found I, I do have the goods to coach. While on tour with his brother, James studied the techniques of great players. He soon developed his own philosophy for teaching and coaching, and he gravitated towards a certain part of the game. The thing I study, the thing I read on at night, the fuel that burns me is learning the nuances of bunker play and chipping and putting and all the different types of rough. You think you get it back far enough to get the back well, of the ball? Well, then I'd use my 59 if I went to the back of the ball. You know, everything in the short game you do is 180 degrees different than what you do in the long game. And uh, he's, he's, he's stuck with that principle, and it's really helped a lot of people, and his concepts make a big difference. It breaks a lot, too. Yeah, that was good. Golf Digest and Golf Magazine came to rank James among the best teachers in the country. PGA Tour, PGA Tour Champions players, LPGA stars, and top collegiate amateurs all soon came calling. James Siegman has a good reputation out on the tour, um, and that reputation comes from word of mouth from other players, and also the results speak for themselves. Don't ever say, oh, I'm tentative, I need to get the ball to the hole. I'll go, you know what, I'm just gonna roll it to that mark. What it does is it takes my mind off of the results. It's about improving your training, improving the mental, becoming more confident, more committed, more certain. He teaches you not only just how to make movements, but also how to learn and believe and trust and get to a place where those movements come out because of what you've learned and how you believe in it. You just feel so much more comfortable on the golf course. Why? Because James studies, he's a great pro, right? And he knows my game, he knows my fundamentals. So it's, uh, it's I can't tell you how valuable it is to have him out here uh, every month working with us. You assess the personality type, the willingness to train, the physical limitations, and you think, what can this person do to perform at their highest? And that's, like I said, it's just putting those pieces together that makes the job so interesting and fun. I mean, that, that's amazing right there. Whatever you just did there. Yeah, because I'm getting crazy height do, there. Do that. Do what you just did. That looks so good. He doesn't teach the same ideology to every one of his students. And I think those are the kind of things that set a great teacher apart from a good teacher. Every year we had a goal and I've tried to achieve it and I'll always have James's advice and insight. Every time I spend time with James, I feel like I understand the game a little bit better. Now, when you hear the click of the coin, I want you to create an affirmation. Come up with something. A lot of times I'll say my place, I love to putt. I'm an amazing putter. His passion, his love for the game, and you know the way he teaches, it just all kind of flows with you know, how I want to play. And um, I think we really work well together. James may be on the road 150 days a year, but his heart is never far from his home in Omaha, Nebraska. 
Since 1994, he's been the PGA Director of Instruction at Shadow Ridge Country Club. There, he designed a 21-acre learning facility to fuel his goal of creating a culture of high performance. Let's see what your money shot is there. Uh, Almost. No, I like the height. Yeah, so too. we know the path is probably pretty good, but I bet the face was closed. He's an incredible asset to the club. I believe the club appreciates it. I know the members of the club really appreciate it. Do that one more time. I want a video of that. If you work hard okay. and you're dedicated and you perfect there. your craft, you can be the best in the country. Great. And that's why our entire staff, okay? I mean, we hold James in very high regard. We try to emulate him. We use it, him as an example of what to strive for. When I have a student follow up with me and say, you know, I had the best round of my life. I played great. Thank you. That, that is just as meaningful, if not more, than uh, seeing, you know, an elite player win a big check. James is also a passionate advocate for the PGA of America. He has presented at the PGA Teaching and Coaching Summit, conducted numerous PGA section clinics around the country, and he's a nine-time Nebraska PGA Section Teacher of the Year. It speaks volumes, I, I think, because uh, it's, not, it's not like there's not some great instructors in the, state, in the Nebraska section, but they get it. They've known for a long time how great he is. He's that well-respected from his peers, and uh, it's, it's truly remarkable what he does, and he uh, transcends himself every year. James Seaman cares no matter what level of player he is teaching. Uh, his uh, insistence on delivering excellence is, is, is inspiring, to say the least. Man, I feel so blessed because I get excited about coming to work every day because literally I'll learn something new every day. And that's, like I said, that's a joyful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, PGA member, James Siegman. First off, congratulations. Ah, thank you. I'm humbled, really. <laughs> There's so many amazing pros uh, in our association. I, so, to some extent, don't feel like I deserve being up here, especially like the, the Patriot Award thing kind of choked me up. I know my wife is shocked because she's never seen me cry in 25 years, but I was very close. Close. We'll see if we can get him right now. <laughs> but let's talk about your profound influences. Who most profoundly influenced your career and why over the years? Well, it's a pretty long list, and, and be patient with me. No be, problem. Uh, you know, Tom Pernice was the first guy to ever look at me and go, you're my guy. And to do that to somebody who's a little bit younger, that, that was special. You need people to believe, believe in you know, in your path, whether it's a, a tour player, whether it's your child, or whether it's your spouse. You need that support. And I certainly have gotten it through my wife, Michelle. My, my house... Uh, Spring, summer, and fall looks like a hotel. And the, the people that come to take lessons, typically they fly in or whatever, they know her as Mama C. Oh, and she's it. like the, uh, the bed and breakfast person in charge. And she, she's been super supportive. In the old days, I used to work, you know, 40 days in a row. She'd never say, hey, why are you going to work? Now she never goes, why are you getting on a plane? She's just been an amazing, supportive person. Also, at my table, uh, Steve Shanahan, the owner, I've worked for him literally for 40 years, since I was 15. And just by watching, I learned what hard work looked like. And that's really served me well, because regardless of what you know, at the end of the day, you just got to get after it. You have to work hard. And I remember the rainy days, you think like, oh, good, it's raining, I don't have to. Man, we'd scrub the stalls and the, uh, the baggage room, we clean out the cart barn, it's like, but that taught me something really important in that is the most important thing that you can work on is really yourself. 
yourself. And um, every day, if I can, if I'm not busy, I try to think about what can I do better to, to grow and improve. Two, two others, uh, Matt McConnell's at my table, and my good friend, Matt, he, he's kind of taught me, inspired me to, you know, what's, what's it look like to be a Christian man, to be, in a, uh, to be a responsible person to society? And he shows up uh, humbled and checks his ego, and he has a, a service attitude, a servant. I want to be a servant to people, and that's one thing I've learned as I've gotten older is that I need to just serve others. And, and lastly, uh, David Hans with PGA Nebraska, our, our CEO, man, there's some good things happening in our section right now, and it's the result of his leadership. So I, I want to thank all those people. And I want to thank you all as well for certainly what you've done for this man here. Uh, what does Mama C think about uh, the success you've had with the professionals that you've taught, those wins on every single tour? Uh, she's pretty unaffected by all of that, <laughs> Good actually. <deal. laughs> she just wants to know where the check is, you know. No. Uh, you know, te teaching pros is, is cool. They, they, you can't fake it. They, it. they can do whatever you ask them to do. So if I'm working with Stuart Sink or Honor Bond and I say, hey, do this, if you don't get it exactly right, uh, in three minutes they're going to like, hey, that's not, that's not happening. So it's, it's a little bit like... Uh, uh, selling commodities, you know, it's high risk, high reward. It, it, it's not meant to last. But I, I'm very lucky that I've had uh, Tom Pernice now, I've coached him for 23 years, uh, Duffy Waldorf, who you saw 15 years, Charlie Wee, Skip Kendall, over 20 years. So I feel really blessed with those type of uh, players that have believed in me. Well, and, and have won major championships. And what I did like watching your technique with Honor Bond there at one point saying, yeah, just do that again. <laughs> Sometimes the, the smartest coaching is the simplest, like, you know. <laughs> there you go. Now, when you're teaching the top professionals, you said, boy, they can discover it in a second. Maybe the amateurs, like myself, might not. But you are able to balance and juggle teaching a wide, disparate amount of talent. How do you balance between the two? Because solid fundamentals, foundational pieces are the same for everybody. What they really need more than anything is uh, a concept of how to learn efficiently. How am I going to train to implement this concept? What kind of uh, post-shot routine can I work mentally to so I, so I don't self-destruct and then get on the hamster wheel of never any things that don't seem to work? And I mean, we're all, we've all been on the hamster wheel, haven't we? I mean, is it just me? No. But, um, I, you know, the, the amateurs need that type of information more than the pros do. And I feel like a lot of times they don't get it. So one of the things I think has set me, set me apart in that arena is I've always tried to help them just like, okay, this is your plan. Let's stay focused on the plan. What can you do to, to be resilient and keep going There's every day to show up? Some of your people are not necessarily focused on becoming teachers or coaches, but trying to figure out where they stand and fit into the PGA membership. For those that really turn their attention towards teaching and coaching and realize that's their passion, what advice would you give them as they make that their goal and move forward? You know, the, the, the key is, just like as a player, as a coach, you just want to grow. And the best learning is self-learning. It's the, it's the things you do every day to work on yourself. And if I had any advice, I'd just say, I don't care if it's TED Talks, finding a mentor to me like Mr. Shanahan was to me, uh, find a way to learn and grow every day. And a lot of times the setbacks you have, they're opportunities. They're opportunities to grow in disguise, but people don't look at them the wrong way. They get down, they get upset. And you just got to think, okay, if I had a do-over, what could I have done differently? And now all of a sudden you've gotten so much better. And so, so that's the most important thing is how you, you learn and grow and look at, at adversity. You talking about the game of life or the game of golf? It's the same thing. It is. Thanks so much. All right. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> Great going. All right. Thank you. Really blessed.